Today, we're diving into the exciting world of enduro riding to answer a burning question. Is it really easier to ride a 150, or does a 300 offer the perfect blend of power and control? We'll be comparing the handling, performance, and overall experience of 150, 250, and 300 enduro motorcycles to find out which one comes out on top. Whether you're a beginner looking for a smooth ride or an experienced rider seeking maximum performance, this video is for you. Let's get started. Before we hit the trails, let's break down the key differences between these three engine sizes. Often seen as the entry point for enduro riding, the 150 offers a lightweight and nimble experience. It's ideal for beginners or those looking for a more normal ride. While it may lack the brute power of its larger counterparts, it compensates with ease of handling. Stepping up, the 250 strikes a balance between power and agility. It's a favorite among intermediate riders who want a bit more grunt without sacrificing too much in terms of maneuverability. With a solid power output and versatile performance, the 250 is a versatile choice for various terrains and riding styles. For those seeking the pinnacle of enduro performance, the 300 delivers. It packs a punch with its increased power and torque, making it a force to be reckoned with on challenging terrains. However, this comes at the cost of added weight compared to 150 and potentially more demanding handling. In the video, we'll put these bikes to the test comparing their handling, power, and suitability for different riding conditions. Stay tuned to find out which engine size could be your perfect match. When it comes to the 150, it's almost like comparing a bicycle to the 250 and 300 models. As many of you know, I've personally owned and ridden a 150, even tackling hard enduro and the most challenging terrains with it. What made this bike stand out for me was its exceptional maneuverability and precision. Its lightweight nature meant that whenever I got stuck, I could easily lift it and continue riding. However, this lightweight characteristic also impacts its stability. After riding a 250 or 300, the 150 feels almost like a toy, making it incredibly fun and agile, but also demanding more attention and skill from the rider. One downside of the 150, especially for hard enduro, is finding grip or traction on the ground. This bike thrives at high RPMs, requiring the rider to constantly shift their weight and be actively engaged with the bike. But perhaps this isn't a downside at all. Riding a 150 challenges you to seek traction more effectively and pushes your skills to the next level. In the video, I showcased what the 150 can do, climbing steep hills just like the 250 and 300. It can navigate through the toughest hard terrains. However, you surely noticed that the 150 requires a more aggressive riding style and lacks the traction of the 300. So if you're looking for a fun bike that challenges you to progress, this is the bike for you. Now let's shift our focus to my favorite engine size, the 250. I have to say the 250 is very similar to the 300, but there are still some noticeable differences. 
while the 150 always has a different and smaller chassis, making it much lighter than the 250 and 300. The 250 and 300 share the same chassis. The 250 is a bit more maneuverable and agile than the 300, and you might wonder why, given they share the same chassis. The difference lies in the engine response and performance. It's hard to put into words, but that's simply how it feels. Additionally, the 250 demands a slightly more aggressive riding style, not as much as the 150, but it requires the rider to be more active with the throttle and clutch. On the other hand, the 300 prefers to be ridden at lower RPMs. If you're looking for a bike that is fun and ideal for hard enduro, then the 250 is an excellent choice for you. With this bike, you can progress a lot as it requires a lot of clutch usage, similar to the 150. However, in some tough sections, it might be easier to ride the 300 due to its higher low-end power. But if you enjoy riding and want to have fun, this is the bike for you. Now let's talk about the 300, the most popular engine size for hard enduro riding. This bike offers the most power at low RPMs, which allows for excellent grip and traction on various terrains. When you encounter extremely challenging terrain, we can say that this bike is like a cheat code compared to the 150 and 250. The 300 simply finds traction effortlessly, which is hard to explain, whereas with other bikes, you have to fight for it. Additionally, this bike has slightly more power than the 250, which might make you more tired, However, a significant advantage of the 300 is that you don't have to use the clutch as much. The bike has enough bottom end power, allowing you to ride it at idle, while with the 150 it's not possible, and you always have to use the clutch to increase the RPMs. The 250 is similar, but not as restrictive as the 150. So, if you want to make your ride easier, then the 300 is the choice for you, although it might be less fun compared to the 250. When it comes to the Wonder 50, maintenance is quite straightforward. You'll find yourself changing the piston more frequently, and that's about it. This makes the 150 the most budget-friendly option to purchase. Moving on to the 250, maintenance is quite similar to the 300 due to the shared chassis. However, the 250 is a bit easier on the wallet compared to the 300, making it a more affordable option. When it comes to choosing the right engine size for your enduro adventures, it largely depends on your riding style, experience, and what you're looking to get out of the bike. Beginner Riders If you're new to enduro riding and looking for a bike that is easy to handle and maintain without breaking the bank, the 150 might be the best choice for you. It offers a lightweight and agile experience, perfect for learning the ropes of enduro riding. Intermediate riders, for those with some experience under their belt and looking for a balance between power and maneuverability, the 250 is an excellent choice. It offers a versatile and enjoyable riding experience, allowing you to progress your skills without overwhelming you with power. Advanced riders, if you're an experienced rider seeking maximum performance and power, especially for tackling the toughest terrains, the 300 is the go-to option. It offers unmatched power at low RPMs, providing excellent traction and stability in challenging conditions. Thanks for joining me in this comparison of the 150, 250, and 300 engine sizes in enduro riding. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights to help you make an informed decision when choosing the right bike for your riding style and skill level. Remember, whether you're a beginner looking to get into enduro riding, or an intermediate rider wanting to progress your skills, or an advanced rider seeking maximum performance, there's a perfect bike out there for you.